What is up and what is Gucci and your booty YouTube? I am at Salvation Army Family Thrift Store, so you guys already know what it is. Another trip to the thrift video. I just donated a dollar in the golden little red kettle, so you guys already know that that must mean I'm gonna find some heat in here. Mmm, look at this, it's like 18 living rooms. All right, y'all, so first the balls in the kick section, you guys already can see, they got some pretty clean looking Nikes right there in the nice South Beach colorway, like a dolphin. And then they also have these really sick size 12 and a half little runners, these are 15 bucks, but these are like brand spanking new. Look at that interior, it is absolutely crisp, it boy. Lord have mercy, they got racks on racks on racks of fresh heat, but look at this Tommy Hill figure. Tommy Hill figure. Vest boy, navy burgundy with the nice corduroy hits. This thing is very, very sick. It's size and medium, so this is unfortunately a kid's vest, but this is so damn clean. I still feel like picking it up on the low. Whew. I just discovered some denim dynamite on the ground. They got the Von Dutch California. These are ill. Look at the patchwork on these jeans with the Von Dutch patches all over. They're size 32, which is my waist size. They have no type of taper. They got like an anti-taper on the low, but I may have to go ahead and try these. For all my magic mushroom enthusiasts, you got the Jimi Hendrix tie-dye tee for one doll hair. And then the Lacoste original for 15 bucks. This shit Lacoste a lot, and you know they straight. Tripping. 55 originally, huh. Tripping. Oh damn, even in animated world, you guys already know that fishes still get you hella animated bitches. Oh man, they got the ferocious Shere Khan tiger tee for a dollar, yes. And then this tie-dye flame, another dollar, bruh, yes. I'm currently in the biggest moral dilemma of my life. I found this Texas A&M vintage starter pinstriped burgundy jersey with A&M embroidered on the back for three bucks. I went to UT and I cannot stand the Aggies. However, this is just such a raw vintage piece and my cousin went there that I'll go ahead and pick it up for one of you guys to cop on the site. So we all up in the scrap bag section. They have this really sick American flag hat, two bucks, very clean, great shape. You already know what it is. Let's see what else we got over here. Bro, you blank, bitch. Oh damn, all my aspiring 2000 rappers. You better watch out. I got the kangaroo with the blood from the clappers on deck. Gotta start my rap career like a boss. It's getting launched like a kangaroo. Dude, if any of you guys don't know, kangaroos are so swole in the wild. Like, look at this shit. Them hoes swole as fuck. All right, y'all, so I continued to peruse through the shoes and I found the Ralph Lauren Dry Good Polo Boots right here. Unfortunately, you're charging an arm and a leg for these, so you'll be hopping around amputated whilst wearing this. They are 18 bucks, but still pretty clean in a Ralph dough. Jumping out the gym. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Salvation Army. You came through with four slight flamey items. Y'all was charging way too much for them kicks, dough. But either way, man, we got a slight, a slight piece of fire in there. Slight pieces that is. So now we're gonna continue in the thrift motherfucking chariot and bestow some more thrift blessings upon you guys, my loyal, amazing cancer ride right the candy blue crew. Let's get it. Wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys asked me what it'd be like if I recorded in front of people how I act. There was a car full of individuals right there in front of me. Yeah, they're still in there. When I just recorded that little clip. I'll be doing this for the two, baby. For the two, baby. Hey, thrift store number two, what it do, Trill Will? What you got hiding in the racks? Let's go and see. It smell like fresh soap. Dang, these are dope. These berries are sick. They were my size, being no brainer. Lamb pubes, y'all. Lamb pubes. All right, so the first gym I see are the Jesus Christ times Nike times Seattle Seahawks sandal sexy exclusives. Bruh, look at that pattern straight tacked out on them boys. High fashion. High fashion. But then even higher fashion. I'm on acid. Finally got one. I got the Aquaberry. Don't jock my cock, but hop off my Reebok abstract graffiti street art heat right here. It's only six bucks. That is somewhat of a steal of a deal. I was sitting in this store like, man, this store is booty, but it's constipated booty because they ain't have shit. And then finally they came through with one semi-decent find. 
Oh dang, we got that J Crew What He Do with the Elmo Beard interior. This is actually very sick in the women's jacket section. It got double zips and buttons straight stunting with a nice little padding. This will definitely keep you warm in the winter season. It's seven dollars, so I'm gonna have to try this on and see if I want to cop rock and uh, yeah, jock. Shut the fuck up, bitch! O M G, the legend continues. My favorite color, motherfucker cheetah print, is draped all over this guy. What a very rare African animal depicted on the back and front, both on the tits. It has a broken zip, but I still may get it for half off of some shit. Bars. Uh oh, your boy done got it. The inner cheetah about to be unleashed in the winter time too. So I got this for $4. She gave me 50% off. And that person does not know how to park. Let me get that slow zoom one time for the one time. Dog, that's why your bumper's fucked up, G. FML, karma. Got the best jacket in the game, and now I'm going in the savers. Ya bish. Shut the fuck up, bitch! Your boy fucked up. Oh, straight out the gate. They got the puffy North Face on deck, 20 bucks. But Jesus Christ swag, look at that big ass hole. Them hoes try to tape that shit over like nobody would notice. Come on now. Nah. We too observing out here in these streets. Looks like a Wolverine might've got to this actually. But I am going to see if I could possibly get this for the low. LOL that Minnesota Hustlers goes way too hard, yo. All types of patched out. Oh my God, in the jersey section, ain't even fair no more. We got the America Nike jersey right here, eight bucks. Italian, $10 size XL authentic Puma jersey was good. $4, another Bimbo America Nike jersey, bam. And then you got the LA Dodgers, all embroidered in the yellow colorway. Bruh, this is a no-brainer. Slight stain on the frame, though. Slight stain. Hey, hey, was good. We found the NBA champions starter flame at dead stock. Four dollar. Six ring heat right here. Bruh, must cop. Oh my lord, by the grace of God, I have found it. The FUBU jeans, black denim vest, size extra large for kids. What a very rare exclusive damn shit fresh too oh tickle me elmo what the fuck is up they got that native american black hawk starter heat six bucks youth size large i'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the cart just in case one of my smaller viewers or my nice sexy ass chick viewers wants this to look like a vintage queen this is too clean whoa Oh my dear banana draped up and dripped out fire. I don't usually rock and shock yellow, but this DeWalt racing tee is a motherfucking exception. Look at this. Exceptional back and front print. Huh. Let's go ahead and add it to the collection of hangers we got in hand. Look at all that chrome, yo. Dude, they got hella shit in here today. They got the Pirates of the Caribbean-esque Tampa Bay Buccaneers Lee Sport Vintage Crew Neck. And look at this Versace silk shirt. Boy, got that vanilla wafer, slight stain, whatever. Got the salmon, got the black, got horses, got carriages. Versace. All right, Straight Up Savers is killing it today. They got the all crocheted, demonic worshiping sweater, and then the Harley Davidson Kuji sweater. Look at that, it says Harley Davidson right there. But this is 15 bucks, they tripping. tripping. But this right here is my swag, and it's gonna be like seven bucks, I'm gonna cop that. Two words, thrift and God, I got a million and one items in there. So what's up guys, as y'all can tell, we are back from the thrift store, and believe it or not, this is actually gonna be the last thrift recap I ever shoot in this room. This is my dorm room, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into everything that I copped in this trip to the thrift bid. So no particular order, the first thing I got right here is this really dope, simple, sexy American flag snapback, straight patriotic was good. At the Salvation Army, I also had to go ahead and grab the Texas A&M starter jersey. This will be for sale on hfv.bigcartel.com, cause fuck the Aggies one time. Then I had to go ahead and get the ferocious tiger tee right here, Sheer Khan, Tony the Tiger, whichever tiger you guys want this to be, it is it. This is a very, very dope and vicious shirt. 
Then I went ahead and nabbed a piece of really dope tie-dye because everybody in the club needs some tie-dye in their collection. Getting all hippie on them boys. Next up, I copped the really dope puffy, the North Face 700 jacket. The thread count is straight out the ass. You got the cocaine on the black Oreo. It actually has a hole on the side, but no worries. I actually gonna put a really dope patch on that. And this is probably gonna stay in my personal collection because I only got it for seven bucks. Originally it was 20. Pretty good condition. All I gotta do is patch game it up. Then in terms of another snapback, I grabbed the really sick Chicago Bulls Dead Stock Starter La Flame. Straight up! This thing is super dope. They won six rings. What's good when it had a cop? Then to keep going with that starter, even though I ain't a farter, I got the really dope Chicago Blackhawks Youth Size Medium Starter La Flame again. Straight up! This jacket was super sick and I had to go ahead and get this from one of my female viewers or one of you guys who had a kid before you guys got married and shit. You know you motherfuckers knocking each other up in high school, don't play. Then it keep going and flowing. Of course, I got the Italian Puma jersey right here. I also got the very rare, my favorite color, motherfucking cheetah print little puffy jacket right here. It got cheetahs all over the frame, insane. Then I smashed it with two Mexican soccer jerseys. Both of them are America. This is number one. This is number two, what it do. Then I got the Don't Shock My Cock, but hop off my Reebok Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Aquaberry exclusive as well. I also copped this sexy Chanel silk shirt, even though it ain't really Chanel, but what if it could be though? Then I raced into the Big Bird exclusive with this really dope DeWalt Racing and Double Sided Tee. This actually is brand new with the holographic sticker on deck. Fuck with your boy. Tampa Bay, Buccaneers, Pirates of the Caribbean status, Captain Morgan, taking shots, biatch. Oregon Ducks, little windbreaker. Quacktastic, ya bish. And then last but certainly not least, to conclude this thrift haul, I went ahead and grabbed the all crocheted by a lesbian grandmother. Sweater right here, it got skulls and crossbows signifying that her death is very near. So that essentially wraps up all the items I got. If you guys would like to purchase any of the majority are going to be for sale on hfv.bigcartel.com. The link is down below in the description. Follow the thrift Instagram at hfvofficial and my Instagram as well while you add it. Peace and love out there, party people. Live the dream, eat ice cream, and uh, peace out, Austin. I'm about to do stuff out of this place. It's kind of crazy that this is actually the last thrift recap I will ever shoot in this room. Headed back to H-Town, hold it down, and I will see y'all very, very soon. Peace out. Killing these songs, leaving a bloody life, I roost them. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.